Today, Nigeria is celebrating 25 years of uninterrupted democracy as uh, President Bola Ahmed Tudumu is celebrating one year anniversary and Governor Sharif Oboriwari celebrating one year in office as Governor of Delta State. Right here on The Nation, we're going to be taking a look at the people's, people's uh, opinion on the 25 years of uninterrupted democracy of the Nigerian nation and what are the scorecards of the President and the Governor's one year anniversary in office. I'm Michel this is the nation, the People's Parliament program on TV. So quickly, what will be your take on the Nigeria celebrating 25 years of uninterrupted democracy and the president and governor's one year in office? Well, to me, it is a one year of failure. It's one year of backwardness. It is one year of continuous impoverishment of the masses. It is one year of purposeless leadership. We must be very, very exact on this. I am not giving any kudos to the present uh, government, nor the past ones, or rather the immediate past. The truth is that Nigeria is not faring very well. The policy of the past government and this present one has always been that policy where the poor gets poorer and the rich gets richer. If Nigeria must progress, we must have leaders that have the interests of the poor masses at heart. The present leadership of uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu cannot be you know, uh, praised. He has not done well to me. Probably he might have a good intention, but the implementation yeah. and the timing is are very, very wrong. Now let's look at the aspect of the uh, uh, labels and government face off on the minimum wage issue. How can you, as a leader of a country, proposing 54,000 naira as a minimum wage in a country where a bag of rice is 100,000? In a country where you cannot even use 4,000 naira to cook food for a family of three, and you, the government, is proposing 54,000 naira for workers. This is very ridiculous. It means the government are not even serious. Okay. So we must not, we must not accept that. If government actually want to be sincere, the least work are supposed to be receiving nothing less than 200,000 naira monthly. That is a living wage. The workers are not receiving living wage. They cannot, look, you, you, you see, there's no way we can grow without curbing corruption. And how does that corruption come in? when you are not paying the workers very well. But come to think about it, the money that people in government are looting on a daily basis, it will be enough to pay workers' salary for the next five, six, seven to ten years. The looting that goes on in government circle. And so why won't workers be paid a living wage to motivate them to do and put their best? So, generally speaking, yeah. the government is not doing well. Okay. And we must not shy away from saying that. Bola Ahmed Tinubu said he was prepared. He said he was prepared that nobody should pity him. And now, let him be aware that Nigerians are saying that he has not done well. I rate him below average. Average Nigerians are hungry. Okay. Average Nigerians are hungry and suffering, dying. And I mean, a lot of things are going on in this country. In terms of security-wise, it's zero percent. You see killings every day. What, where are we going from here? So the government must stand up. They must sit up and, you know, walk their talk. The government must be able to walk their talk. Thank you.